Hello and welcome back to my channel. In my first video, I went over what sold so far during my first month on Poshmark. And I wanted to do another follow-up video because it is now officially the end of the month. It's June 30th today. So today is officially the last day of my first month selling on Poshmark. So this is the part two video where I'm going to show you what else sold since that first video and go over the numbers a bit more in detail in terms of what I sold in gross profit and net profit and yeah just kind of sum up how this first month has been. So in the first video I went over everything that had sold so far as I said and since that that was three or four days ago I did have one more item sell which is this Kos black elastis body maxi dress in a size small and Kos is, I'm not sure if you say Kos or Kos, but I'm going to say Kos, is a really great brand. I think it's maybe based out of the UK, but they make really great contemporary clothes, kind of artsy, minimalist type stuff that I tend to like everything they make. So I actually found this dress in a thrift store recently and grabbed it for myself but realized when it was on I, I didn't really love the way it fit me so I ended up listing it here on Poshmark and it sold within the first two days of, of being up so that was pretty nice to, to know that someone else really responded to and really liked this dress so it sold, I listed it I think for $65 initially and received an offer for $40, which I was happy to take because I think I had thrifted this item for about $12, as I said, only two days before. So I was really happy to make this sale and the woman who bought it clearly had some similar taste in kind of minimal contemporary clothing. So. It's on its way to her right now. I hope she loves it. And I wanted to also go over, in my last video, I did say that one of the biggest sales I had was a bundle of items, but I didn't actually go through that bundle piece by piece to show you exactly what was in that bundle that ended up selling. So I'm going to do that really quickly right now. The first out of seven items was these rust colored silk shorts. They're smart set, kind of a vintage smart set item. The tag looked fairly old. And I ended up picking up these up in a thrift store probably four or five years ago and just didn't fit into these shorts, but I held on to them because they were so beautiful, 100% silk, really cute little short. So this was one of the items in that bundle. Another thing in that bundle was this vintage vest dress by Albert Caprero. This is a vintage dress that I held on to for years because I remember finding it at a thrift store and just falling in love with it. I think I paid probably about $60 about seven years ago for this. I wore it a lot and then recently just kind of stopped wearing it. It was, it was getting a little bit too small and you know, when you have something in your closet for long enough, you aren't really interested in wearing it anymore. So this sold for $75, but she did get a discount on the bundle. So it wasn't actually about that. I think it's the discount amount for the whole bundle brought about sort of $5 off each item. So this was probably around more like $70 that it sold for. Then there was this uh, vintage Sans Souci gray jacket. This is something I had in my personal closet again for years and wore it a lot in the springtime. Really cute, I would say kind of like French 60s style jacket, really lightweight, really interesting kind of wool blend. 
and that sold for 24 in the bundle again taking four or five bucks off of that so around twenty dollars for that this dress was also part of that bundle it's a viva floor patterned dress so pretty again i wore this a lot but i had just had it in my closet for probably six or seven years I really wasn't wearing it anymore. It had become a little bit too small. And I was happy to see this go in a bundle. It had this really great, adorable matching belt that came with it. And it was just in really great condition, fully lined, a beautiful dress. And that was $49, so probably about $45 after the bundle discount. The next thing in that bundle was this pair of vintage 550 Levi's, which were something I wore all the time for the past three years. And those rips in the knees are from me wearing these. These were my favorite jeans. I wore them all the time. Ended up getting a couple paint stains on them in the process. But I think with these kind of vintage Levi's, the wear and tear is really part of the charm. So the buyer obviously didn't mind that really old label as you can see so these actually really were vintage sold for 60 probably about 55 after the bundle discount the next thing in the bundle that sold was this w buck blue and white checkered accent stoneware dinner plate and this is a really cute item i picked up from a thrift store pretty much for myself, but ended up listing to see if it would sell and really cute. I'd noticed a trend of like checkered ceramics. Recently, I, I follow a lot of ceramics accounts. I love ceramics and this kind of checkered design I was noticing a lot. So when I saw this, I really wanted to pick it up. I think I bought it for about $2, honestly. So it sold as part of the bundle for 20, probably about 15 after the bundle discount. And the last thing in the bundle was this really cute Daniel Hector Gray cardigan in a size medium in really great condition. I bought this probably four years ago, only wore it a few times, but it's a really great staple piece. I knew someone would, would love this. So that sold for 24 as part of this bundle. Again, about 4 or $5 off of that, so just under $20 as part of the bundle. So that and all of the other stuff I went over in my first video. Check that out, part one, if you haven't already. That is basically everything that sold in my first month. So that's 15 items all together. And what I want to do now is bring you over to check out some of my the wrap up or the the sales inventory page on Poshmark to sort of see a summary of, of what I sold and what I made. So we're going to come up here to this little button on the right hand side and come down to my sales here. And this, this is obviously on a laptop on a browser, so it looks a little bit different when you're on your phone. But this brings you to this page where it has a summary of all of the sales that I did. This Coe's dress is still in transit. All of these other ones are marked as order complete because they have already been delivered. The buyer has accepted them and I have received my money already. And as you can see, I've gotten pretty much all five star reviews. The bundle person didn't give me a review, which is totally fine because she did accept the order and I got my money. So I'm assuming she's happy, I hope. <laughs> and everyone else gave me a five star review, which is really great. I did try to do a nice job with the packaging and getting out the order pretty much either the day of or the very next day. So I wanna be really quick on my shipping. The other thing I wanna show you is to go into my closet insights that's over here on the menu on the left so we'll click on that and it's got a bit of a summary of my amount of listings and the amount of money i made so as you can see 15 listings sold this month for a total of 467 dollars that i made and that is a gross amount so i'll tell you in a minute what my net profit is after 
the 20% that Poshmark does take off of that total. So this first bar graph here shows basically what's sold on what day of the month. So as you can see, that first sale happened on June 2nd. Quite a few days passed with no sales. And then my big bundle sale happened on the 15th. A couple days later, another sale and so on. So it started off pretty, well, pretty quickly because I'd listed something, the first few things, and then I got a sale within my first like three days and then nothing for a while. And then it started to kind of pick up a little bit with a sale pretty much every two or three days, which was great. This next section um, shows the brand insights, which I think is really cool that Poshmark keeps track of all of the brands that you've listed and how many of each has sold, or sorry, what the value of each item has sold. So that vintage vest dress and the Eileen Fisher and the Club Monaco dress all were kind of my biggest sellers in terms of how much they each made. And Levi's, Coase, Wilfred, it just lists all of the brands that ended up selling this month, which is a nice little breakdown. This next section is sales insights. So it's kind of just the categories of what you've listed and what's sold. So my main income came from women's clothing. And then a couple of those sales were home goods, which is something I wanna get a bit more into because that's something I really love shopping for. I have a like a lot of colored glass and candle holders in my own collection that I might want to list and sell as well. This next section is order insights. So this is basically breaking down how the items sold. A lot of my sales came from when I sent an offer to the person who liked my listing. And so I would give them 10% off and then $9.99 shipping or something like that. Sometimes maybe 20% off. I didn't have any direct buys, which would be just full price buys. The bundle offer was a big part of my sales this month. That one bundle was 52% of my sales, which is really great. I love a good bundle buy. And the bundle buy now, again, I didn't sell anything full ask. So if I did, either the blue or that brown or burgundy would be showing up in the chart. Next section is the inventory. So in the month of June, I published 87 things. And this breaks down, this is really great for keeping track of your consistency in terms of posting because it tells you how many things you posted per day in the month. So I tried to be consistent this month, but it's something I'm going to be working on for next month to try and list things every single day. And I was doing fairly good, but as you can see right here in the middle of the month, beginning to the middle of the month, I didn't post for, you know, five days straight, which isn't great. And then getting back on track with 10 in one day, a few here, a few there. On the 21st, I went nuts and listed 17 items and then kind of more smaller amounts and more sporadically up until now. And actually, I haven't posted anything in the last three days because I have been actually trying to source some new stuff to sell. So tomorrow I'm going to be blitzing out a bunch of new listings. If you want to check out my shop on Poshmark at Painted Picture on Poshmark, there's going to be a lot of new stuff coming up in the next couple of days. So currently I have 75 available listings with a total value of $3,025. This next section is brand insights. So it's basically breaking down the value of each brand that you have currently listed in your store. So I have quite a few Zara items. So 160 bucks is basically the value of all the Zara items I have. I have one pair of Clark's shoes listed that are new in the box, so they're quite expensive. So that's a big part of my current value. And I've got a couple of different Club Monaco things. 
So yeah, it's just a breakdown of the value of each thing in your closet for sale right now. And finally, listing insights is telling you the amount of value for each category that you're selling. So again, I'm basically only selling women's clothing and some home goods. That might change. I might start listing some men's clothing that I find. But for the most part, it's going to be mostly women's clothing and home goods. So going back up to the top here with the $467, that again is gross profit. So that is the amount of sales that before Poshmark takes its 20% fees out of it. So the actual percent or sorry, the actual net earnings that I made this month was $349.26 for 15 items. So as you can see, that's that's a fair chunk of the money. It's almost $100 that's, or over $100, sorry, that the Poshmark has taken out of my profit. But I will say Poshmark has made it really easy to sell and ship things. So they do a lot to, to earn that. I wish it was a little bit lower. 10 or 15% would be great. But they do have a lot of great features that really end up helping you make the sales. And in that sense, it, it gets you the visibility. It makes shipping really easy. So there's a lot of pluses to listing on this platform and making that 20% worth it, as long as you're pricing your items with that 20% in mind. So I'm pretty happy with that amount for my first month. It basically, it's more than I was expecting for my first month. And having sold, I want to say two, I sold 15 items and only a couple of those things were I think three out of that 15, those 15 things were things that I specifically bought to try and sell on Poshmark. The other items were all things that I already had in my closet. So 20% of my sales were from things that I specifically bought to try and sell on Poshmark. So 80% of that was from stuff I already owned. So for the next couple of months, I'm going to be really focusing on sourcing things to try and sell. I'm going to be going to thrift stores and market by the pound and trying to source things specifically to try and sell. So it's going to be a bit more of a financial risk. I'm going to try and keep my costs really down low, but it's going to be interesting over the next couple of months to see how that works because the stuff that I've already sold has, is stuff that I've had for years. I know they have value. It's been years of me collecting these things. So it's going to be a bit of a different story when I'm sourcing things um, specifically to try and sell. So we'll see how that goes. So that is basically the summary of what sold in my first month on Poshmark. I'm pretty happy with the results. I wasn't really expecting much. I did just join to try and clear out my closet. I got a bit hooked after the few first few sales and now I'm going to go forward and actually try and make some money from things that I source specifically to sell on here. I will let you know how that goes. So thank you so much for being with me and watching. Stay tuned for my next couple of videos where I'll break down some, maybe some more tips for selling on Poshmark as I have more experience and I'll just let you know how it's going in the upcoming months. I'll probably do a couple videos about recent uh, thrift store hauls that I had. I've, I've scored a lot of really great stuff that I'm going to be posting. So again, keep your eyes peeled for that. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you next time. <music>